Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Today I have a short video on how to level up using a lot of your unused materials. Today we have an old XP method, which I'm getting some questions about on if this still currently works in the game. I'm sure most of you are going to know this method, but it's easy and effective for those of you that have a lot of materials to spare. With the new season upon us tomorrow, it's going to be interesting to see if we can get some of the old exploits to be working, and hopefully some new glitches coming with this new update. With this larger update coming, supposedly there's going to be a few glitches and exploits that are going to be patched, but knowing Bethesda, it's going to create a lot more wiggle room for other things to happen. With that said, let's go straight into this video. Now before I get into it, I will say this is not a glitch, this is just a regular effective XP method on how to get a lot of XP. So what this is, if you haven't guessed already, it's an old one, it's with the ignition cores and crafting them to get XP. This is for anyone that has a bunch of material that they just want to get rid of or they just want to use to get some awesome XP. If you don't have this plan, you can just follow like I do here. Make your way into the excavator. You're going to probably run into some enemies along the way, so just kill any that you have to and continue making your way up into the excavator. Now, this will require steel, nuclear material, and lead. So if you don't have an abundant amount of those, you probably don't want to do this or at least go farm it for a while before you have a decent amount farmed up. Mostly you need steel and nuclear material because you do get your lead back once you scrap the items. So once you've killed the enemies, make your way in here, and then to get the plan, what you're going to do is just come down this hallway, and then there's going to be a terminal to the right here. Jump on that terminal, and then from there, once you're on the terminal, you're going to want to click on Reactor Technology at the top, and then what that's going to do is that's going to give you the blueprint. I'll show you here in just a sec. You can see that it says Ignition Core Blueprints uploaded at the bottom of the terminal. So once that is done, then you can go into any Tinker Workbench so you can capture the workshop and place one, or there's one inside the excavator as well. Under the quest items sections, you will see the ignition core, which costs 5 lead, 5 nuclear material, and 10 steel. Then from there, all you need to do is just put on your XP buffs and craft as many as you want. Now note, when you do craft these, you can get back your lead. All of your lead will come back to you. Just not the nuclear material and the steel. You will lose nuclear material and steel. Not all of it, but a little more than half. And I'll show you right here the ignition cores and how much you get back from when you scrap them. So I'm scrapping that back, and that's what I'm getting back currently from all of those. And here in just a sec, I'm going to show you what you get out of the XP from crafting these. So once you get to a Tinker's Workbench, then all you have to do is put on the XP buffs. I don't have a ton on right now, I just have a few just to showcase it. And then I'm going to create a few of these just to show you a little bit of XP that I get from this. Now this is for those of you that want to just be lazy and just create as many of these as you can with the extra material you have. Um, because this probably isn't the best method for farming. West Tech is probably going to be a lot better than this, but still an easy XP method to do if you have a lot of extra materials to use. Now, if you want to take this even further and you want to spend some money on materials, you can go to easynpc.com and you can buy loads of materials depending on what platform you're on. They support Xbox, PC, and PlayStation and buy the materials from that website. Anyways, that's it for the video. We'll catch you next time. Hit the damn subscribe button already.